morning, Rosebank Union. Um, this is August month and we've been celebrating women and especially some of the extraordinary women who make up our congregation at RUC. And this morning we welcome Denise O'Callaghan. And uh, Denise, you haven't wasted any of the opportunities that the Lord has given you over this COVID time to be his hands and feet in the community. And you've shared with me that you're more of a Martha than a Mary. Mary you're a doer. And, um, Definitely. When people started ringing your doorbell over COVID, um, you started responding to the needs. So do you want to share with us how it all started and how it's progressed from there? Well, you know, Jen, I think about, about 12 years ago, I began planting spinach on the pavement. I've been very haunted by that scripture. I think it's Matthew 25 about, um, and then I think verse 35 onwards. Uh, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you thirsty? And the Lord said, you know, when you helped any of these and that's really haunted me. So I planted spinach for people to pick on the way to the bus or taxi. And then after eight years, I found people were actually stealing the plants, which cost a fortune to replace. So I stopped doing that. And then I found people were ringing the bell for food. And oh, we always had about five, maybe eight people a day. It was fine. But now with this whole pandemic, I'm getting, I had 52 people today. Wow. So it's between 40 and 50 people. And it is such a privilege, really, and I didn't think I would say this, but um, you're getting to know people. I get to know Sandili, I get to know Timothy, I get to know Amos. And you can say, oh, what sharp shoes you got on today. And there's a relationship. And I keep thinking there, but for the grace of God, it could be me ringing the bell. And my job really is to, is to befriend and to, and to love and to build bridges that's really what that's about. Wow, that's just amazing, Denise. Sure. And it isn't all about food. Um, you've also been handing out gospel tracts. Maybe share a little bit about that as well. Oh, you know, those little books that, that uh, Lee, Lee wrote, those good news ones. Well, I got some from Irene. And everybody who comes for food, I, I give them um, a bottle of, of, of coffee and a sandwich. And I'll give them this little book. And I say to them, now, listen, I'm giving you food for the body, but here's food for the soul. And you know that you can't trust the government. You can't trust your friends. You have to trust God, only God. And he knows you. He knows when you're inside your mommy's tummy. He knows the hairs on your head. So trust God. And so I've been giving him that, giving all of them that. And you told me a story about a man who came back after the kitchen had closed to give you some feedback on the Bibles. Oh, that was Timothy. Oh, such a sweetheart. Um, I'd given him this booklet, and then he said to me after a few days, oh, I want to, I want to talk to you. I said, well, after kitchen's closed, after 1 o'clock, because I only do this between 8 o'clock and 1. I said, sure, come. And he said, I was feeling very sad one night. I have nowhere to sleep. I have no food. I have no money. I, I'm hopeless. I don't know what to do. And then I read the book. And suddenly, I knew, I knew with my very heart and my spirit and my everything that God loved me. Oh, I get <laughs> all emotional about this. But um, he said, that, that gave me such hope that I knew God loves me. Wow. And then opened up a whole conversation and then we could talk. So this is what's happening. And about other wonderful miracles. But maybe there's not enough time. That's so encouraging. And uh, Denise, just as you've shared with me in the past about um, what you've been doing, I've really been encouraged about how you don't see these people just through an ordinary lens, some dirty, homeless person. But you just have a beautiful way of looking at them. Maybe you can share that with us. Well, you know, there's that scripture in Hebrews that in giving hospitality, you may be giving hospitality to an angel without even knowing it. So maybe there's some angels visiting us. And I look at these young men, not always so, so young, but they've all had aspirations. They're all little boys at one stage playing in the sand and had dreams. And how their lives have changed. Their lives are not over yet, so maybe still wonderful things can happen. But possibly... Um, that's the story of the not angels, but maybe amongst them there are angels. 
That's so beautiful, Denise. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and share that little snippet with us this morning and uh, just for giving us the encouragement and the courage to see where the Lord is leading us and, yeah, to step through the open doors. Mm, thanks, Jen. <laughs>